Welcome to the eMotion LV1 video tutorials. Channel presets enable you to load and save channel settings. Audio routing, assignments, plugins and their parameters, aux sends, and control groups. All or part of a channel's parameters can be copied from one channel to another or exported for other sessions. The preset menu addresses the selected channel whose name is shown in the top bar. The name of the current preset is shown above the plugin rack. An asterisk indicates that settings have changed since the preset was loaded. Open the preset menu with the down arrow. The top part of the menu deals with channel presets. The bottom part is about sessions and scenes. These menu items are addressed in Lessons 5.1 and 5.2, where we discuss the show window. Factory Presets opens a library of presets supplied by Waves. These provide good starting points for many common setups. If the preset calls for a plugin that is not present or authorized, the preset will load, but that plugin will be disabled. Two factory presets are particularly useful when creating a new session. Reset loads a dynamic, EQ, and filter emo plugin into the top three slots of the channel. This provides a full set of plugins that can be controlled from the channel and mixer windows. Empty removes all the plugins from the rack. A factory preset cannot be modified. Instead, you can open it and save it as a user preset. User Presets is a list of user-made channel presets created from within the current session or imported. User Presets are part of a session. They are not separate files. To delete a user preset, select or hold Control before opening the preset menu. Select the preset and it will be deleted. Use the Import from File option to import presets that have been saved outside the session as files. Imported presets can then be saved as user presets in the session. The Paste command pastes the copy channel preset to the selected channel. Save takes the current channel settings and saves it to the loaded channel preset. Save to User Presets creates a new user preset. These are saved as part of the current session. Think of this as a Save As function. Rename Preset allows you to change the name of the current channel preset. Save to File creates a new preset file that's saved at a user-defined location. These can be used to export presets to other LV1 systems, or to studio racks or multi-racks. Use the copy command to copy the current channel condition to the clipboard. A copied channel preset can be pasted to any other channel in the current session. Choose which settings to replace and which to leave unchanged on the target channel. Choose Select All to replace all channel settings, including the channel name. You can paste channel presets between mono and stereo channels. If you paste a mono channel preset to a stereo channel, the copied plugins will load their stereo components when possible. When you paste a stereo channel preset to a mono channel, the plugins mono components will load. You can also copy a channel preset from one session to another. First, save the channel as a file. Open the target session and import the file. This replaces all channel parameters. In this video, we looked at the preset menu, how to copy, save, and import channel presets. In the next video, we'll study the input section of the channel window. Thanks for watching this Emotion LV1 video tutorial.
See you next time.